You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. So it's brother, can you spare a My God shall supply my need. Don't have to beg because I am a seed. Cause every good and perfect gift comes from the Father who I We invite you to join us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. for his abounding grace with Minister Vanessa Williams. On Wednesdays at 7 p.m., Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you. That's with Pastor Paul Morgan of Chosen Generation Ministries in Richmond, Virginia. On Thursdays, live at 12 noon, join Reverend Pat Randall for Declaring the Finished Work. Reverend Ray and friends are here on Friday nights at 7 p.m. with the joy of the Lord on Friday Night Joy. Sundays at 7 p.m., join Reverend Ray for Bread of Life. And don't forget our monthly broadcast. The first Mondays of every month, join Apostle Shirley Jones for Lifeline at 7 p.m. And on every third Monday of the month, join Evangelist Louis McElwain for Adoration at 7 p.m. Every fourth Saturday of the month, Alabaster Box at 7 p.m. with Prophetess Carla Johnson. Join Rev. Gwendolyn Dixon for the Midday Glory Prayer Line at our new time on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The dial-in number is 641-715-3580 and the access code is 732-499. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, we are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry, so all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com, and click on our donation page. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. Challenge to change, where transformation begins with you. Change appears to be one of the biggest hindrances to growth from relationships that I have encountered while in ministry. Our focus is usually on someone else and what they have done or are doing to us instead of us being accountable to God and making sure we're not a stumbling block to ourselves or others. Challenge to Change is about us taking personal responsibility for our Christian walk as we face challenges and issues and how to overcome them through biblical tools and techniques that we will discuss on this show. Everything about this show is encompassed in us depending on the Holy Spirit to edify, enrich, and transform lives by introducing individuals to a personal encounter with God's unconditional love. That is where real transformation begins and ends. So, Father, I come before your throne washed in the blood of Jesus. I thank you for giving me the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might. Make me a quick understanding so I do not judge by what I see with my eyes or hear with my ears, but by what your Holy Spirit reveals to me. We thank you, Jesus, for your presence, and I ask you to be Lord over this ministry and all that is done here. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to anoint this time of prayer and ministry. 
We claim the blood of Jesus over the session for our protection. We proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord here and that this is holy ground. We take authority in the name of Jesus and the power of his blood and word and command all evil spirits to leave this property now. We claim this room sealed in the name and authority of Jesus. We bind and forbid any evil spirits on the outside from having any knowledge or influence in this room. We thank you that the battle is the Lord's, but the victory is ours. We thank you that you have the right to adjust, shift, change, move, do whatever is necessary to bring forth your glory, your power, your might, your dominion, your rest, your peace, your increase, your victory in every area of our lives. And we call it manifested right now in Jesus' name. And all in agreement say, Amen. Amen. Talking about counting the cost in Luke chapter 14, verse 28 through 29. Let's read together. But don't begin until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there is enough money to finish it? Otherwise, you might complete only the foundation before running out of money, and then everyone would laugh at you. Anybody ever encountered that? Appreciate the honesty. You're not the only one in the house. People have been laughing at. You got to count the cost before you use that credit card. Got to count the cost before you spend that money. Got to count the cost before you start writing that check and then it comes back to you. How much they charge now for a bounce check? 30? 35? I'm going to stop meddling. Right. <laughs> but we do. We got to count the cost of credit. We got to count the cost of the car. We got to count the cost of that house. How many bathrooms can you use at one time? Just you and, and your wife, y'all getting a 15-room house? I mean, nothing wrong with 15-room house if you can afford it. But count the cost. Do I really need this? In the third John chapter 2, it says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in, in all things. How many things? All. And be in health, just as your soul prospers. So I want to bring out, in order to prosper in all things, your mind has to be renewed in all things. So you can, you can only go as far as your mind will allow. Your mind will see. Your mind will understand. Your mind will comprehend. So the thing about it is, wherever you can write this down. Wherever Jesus is first, you have victory. Wherever Jesus is first, you'll have victory. So if you're not having good relationships, Jesus is not first. If your finances are a little jacked up, that's because Jesus is not first. If your body not doing well, it's because Jesus is not first. So wherever you, you, you renew in Jesus, you will prosper in that area. Yes, ma'am. You got a mic coming. You don't want to mess with these ladies with your hands, sister. That wherever Jesus is first, you will have victory. Mm -hmm. When you talk about finances, what do you mean by that? So if he says that you're supposed to tithe, if he's first, you're going to tithe. If he's not first, you're gonna do. You're gonna buy the dress, buy the shoes, buy the suit. What else are you gonna buy? Pay the bills. Okay, you follow me? Everybody got? It? So have I asked him to look in that area? Have I asked him to work with me in that area? Have I asked him for a job? And then when he told me, get up out of bed and, and go ahead and fill out the application. When whatever he tells you to do, do it. Even though it sounds strange, even though it sounds different, did you put him first? And the way you know you put him first is because you hear him first. You ask him first. You listen to what he says. You do what he tells you when it's inconvenient. So how, how many of us got children? Raise your hand. Do they, do they ask you when it's comfortable? Do they ask you when it's comfortable? You're in bed. You're half asleep. You, you, you're in, in REM sleep. <laughs> Mama, Daddy, you, you, you said. Y'all ever heard that you said? <laughs> we'll, we'll laugh. So he heard you say it. Yeah, I said it. But can it wait till tomorrow? No, but you said it. So if we want to prosper in finances, we got to have soul prosperity. We got to understand that God's word tells us exactly what we need to do. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4 says, He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. And guys, I don't want to just limit his word to finances, although that's what we're talking about. But if you got a slack hand in your, in your relationships, will your relationship be rich or poor? If you got a slack hand at your job, 
How is that, how is that working for you? But if you have a slack hand, you're going to become poor in that area. Not just finances, but in other areas as well. So I want to deal with prosperity, pro- poverty versus prosperity mindsets. Now remember, uh, don't get offended. Just locate yourself. Because you can't change what you don't acknowledge. So a poverty versus a prosperity mindset. Now, it doesn't matter the amount of money. It matters how you use it and how you think about it. For example, a poverty mindset sees now. What do you think sees now means? Wait, wait, raise your hand. Because we want to make sure this is going, Mike, and go international. I have you know, to get it today. I have to get it today. Okay. All right. Now, did they count any calls by seeing it today? Yes, ma'am. Um, they're not thinking about what I will have tomorrow. They only think about, I got it today. Okay. They're not thinking about, will I have it tomorrow, too? Okay. All right. So, so the iPhone 7 just came out, and I'm still paying on the iPhone 6S. But if today is what I see right now, then will I go ahead and get the iPhone 7? Because w- w- what's tomorrow? I don't care about tomorrow. I'm dealing with right now, Jeff. Somebody said rent is tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't plan for the future. Okay. All right. They don't plan for the future. Yes, Miss Lisa? They don't think about how it's going to hurt their credit later. They're not thinking about um, how it's going to affect them financially okay. later. They're okay. only thinking about, I got it now. I got it now. Okay. Who else about now? Yes, ma'am. Michelle? You simply don't care about the consequences. Ooh, well, what do you mean? Well, you might know in the back of your mind that, you know, food would be a good idea. Okay. But, you know, that dress is real pretty. Okay. All I right. got to get it now. Okay. All right. Miss Lisa? Miss Ashley? What you got? I was going to say YOLO. I mean, you only live once, so people have in their mind, like, okay. you know, I don't know what's going to happen to me tomorrow. Today, I'm just going to get it. Okay. All right. Might not be here tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and get it today. So if poverty sees now, what do you think prosperity sees? Remember, I almost got cussed out in church because I asked y'all to think about five years in advance, what you'll be doing in five years. And certain people say, what are you talking about, five years? I haven't looked at what's going on right now. So poverty and prosperity mindset is not just about money. It's about a way of thinking. It's about a mindset. So how does a, a prosperous person see the future? What are they thinking? Got one here. What does seeing the future looks like? That I am debt free. That I am debt free. Okay. All right. Uh, sewing into their 401k. Okay. Putting aside funds for their kids. That oh. Gerber fund. You okay. Know. All right. Okay. All right. Putting aside funds. For the future, for kids. Investing money. Investing money, okay. I thought investment was for rich people. Oh, there you go. That's the answer I'm looking for. He said, we are rich. Porter? Saving, um, knowing that your situation right now may not be the situation you're in in five years. Okay. Like, if you got a good job now, you may not have that job in five years. Okay. So save the money. I think you said it before, if you get a raise or you get a promotion or something, don't live beyond your means okay. because you have it to spend now because you may not have it later. Amen. Okay. Who else? They coming to you? Yes, ma'am. I have a coworker. She just bought a house, and she's paying over and above her mortgage so that she will uh, have paid it off five years earlier and save thousands of dollars. Okay. So you think she's thinking for now or for the future? For the future? Yes, ma'am. Um, when you get a raise, up your contribution to your 401k. Okay. That's okay. what I did. Okay, use the raise to up your contribution. Yeah. Okay. So you don't be one of those old ladies early in the morning at Walmart when you won't be at home in the bed. Okay. Oh. Because I know I can. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she was talking about a person that retires, and, and because they retire and they don't have the money, they're going to have to be at Walmart. 
I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at her wanting to be in the bed. <laughs> Ashley and then Michelle. <laughs> um, I was going to say, or while you're networking. Say it one more time. I was going to say, or while you're networking, educating yourself about your finances. Ooh. But when you, like right now, I'm not working, okay. but I'm preparing my future okay. self. Okay. So when I am ready for my job and ready for the big bucks, I'll know what to do with it. Okay. All right. So preparing myself financially, even though I'm not working. Or on things that are, that will appreciate in value than depreciate in value. I mean, you get a Ferrari, you jump it off the lot, and now it's worth, what, ten, twenty thousand $20,000 less than when it was on the lot. Okay. So you spend more time getting things that will make you more rich instead of making you more poor. Okay. Okay. All right, who else? Murder? Um, keep up with my offering and not just my time. Oh, what are you talking about, woman? Willis? <laughs> 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 now, go ahead. What were you talking about? Um, focusing on, you know, did I just get the time, but then, okay, I'll, I'll do the... First, it was like, yeah, dedicated, dedicated. Then I kind of let it to go to the side, but it was just as important to give that as well. Amen. So not just the tithe, but the offering. Anybody else? Sees the future? Porter? Um, you can invest in yourself as well, not just with your finances, but if you're going to spend money on something, maybe um, there's a way that you could spend money to take a class to okay. get ahead at your job okay. or learn another skill that would – actually make you more money. Okay. All right. So educate yourself. Career. You know, old lady. Not even that. Yeah. Uh, your health. Your health. You Ooh. know, work out now okay. so that you don't have to spend all that money on these medications Ooh. and these doctor bills when you get older because a lot of things can be prevented just with exercise and correct diet. Amen. Can I get a sword? Uh, look, look, you got to do all sorts. <laughs> I mean, it's real, man. All right, so poverty sees now. Prosperity sees, uh, sees the future. Can, can we throw sand up in there? Yeah. You poverty spirit, you thinking sin. I'm going to do it now. Whereas you're not thinking about the future. So I'm going to go ahead and do this thing. I'm going to go ahead and steal this thing. I'm going to go ahead and hit this person. I'm, what, 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 what else is sin going to do? Sin doesn't show you the consequences. Sin only shows you the fun. Okay, they didn't like sin. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to... You with me, man? You with me? All right, they ain't like sin, so I'm going to go back to money. All right, Marla, I'm going to go back to money. They, they ain't like sin, so they want me to stay with the money. All right, they say, show me the money. All right, so prosper... Poverty spirit sees money through emotions. So, so what, what, what we mean by seeing money through emotions? It's red, it's shiny, it's pretty, it's on sale. So what is your emotions telling you? Get it. Impulse buy. You deserve it. Huh? First one with it. First one with it. Okay. I, put it on the mic, woman. Um, that's going to make me feel good about myself. Okay. That's a self-esteem booster. Okay. Okay. I'm the first one with it. It's a self-esteem booster. Are, are stores counting on you dealing with emotions? How, how y'all know? How did... Come, come, come on. Give me a mic. Depending on what type of clothing store it is, if okay. it's if it's like retro, they got different type of music. If it's like Macy's, the lights dim, okay. the music a little real mellow, okay. so you can stay longer. Okay, talk okay. to the associate. Okay, the associate tell you what to buy. Okay, that look nice, don't look nice. Okay, so it's feedback. Okay, feedback. Okay, all right. How else they gonna use their emotion? I got Megan. I got. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was gonna say the colors. Ooh. You know. Um, sale is red and clearance is that yellow one, you okay. know, and you get all excited, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you might not have had enough money to buy like that shirt okay. full price, but okay. you could buy 10 shirts for that same price okay. and, with the yellow tag. Okay. I, I, Megan. Yep. So Apple says they don't sell technology. They sell lifestyle. Ooh. So what does that mean? Megan? That's deep, isn't it? Okay. Right. I'm not, I'm not just yeah, buying yeah. a phone. Yeah. I'm buying the way. You know, I look good, I'm uh -huh. fancy, have the newest thing, it's sleek, it's cutting edge. Uh -huh. 
It's not a phone. Yeah. It's right. a lifestyle. And, and you pull it out when, you know, people around, too. You know, like, yeah, it say, say what? It, nothing lit up. You don't even know how to work the phone. You don't even know how to work it. All right? In grocery stores, they appeal to kids at okay. the count at the checkout. Uh-huh. So they put like all the toys and the candy and uh-huh. stuff like that. So if you're running in just to get a loaf of bread and you got a kid in tow, it's like, mommy, mommy, look. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. just to kind of sometimes just to warm up, okay. you'll get it. Just okay. to come on here, let's go. Okay. But you're buying extra what you hadn't planned on buying. Okay. So just cover the kids' eyes up. You know, when you're going down the aisle, just cover the kids' eyes up. You're going through checkout. You don't need to look, boy. All right, who else? Who got the mic? Um, the smell of the clothes. Oh, the smell of the clothes. Yeah, okay. it's okay. fresh, and okay. it's just, you just want it because it yeah. smells so good. Okay. And like they were saying, the colors did, and everything. Did, did y'all look at her? Has she smelled some clothes before? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Who else? Sean? Just, just like she was saying with smell, um, Ashley and I were watching the news the other day, and they were showing the um, Cinnabon shop that, that's always in the mall. So okay. they were showing how strategically they will put the oven in front of the uh, store. That way they will put it so it'll, um, you know, project the smell. And then uh-huh. they, they said they usually burn some cinnamon to get the smell even further out. So okay. that will entice you to walk up there and, uh, you know, order five, six when you just need one. But uh, they just, you know, they do yeah. it every time. So yeah. the yeah. art of smell. Yep. So you're going to spend that money based off the emotion that you're feeling. You know, we, we've even got a word from the Lord for uh, people trying to sell the house to uh, bake gingerbread cookies. Mm-hmm. And people walk in there and it's like, this smells just like home. And they buy your house. Okay? <laughs> um, Black Friday, okay. which is no longer Black Friday. It starts on Thursday after everybody's turkey drunk. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then... Tomorrow is Cyber Monday. Okay. So I'm like, oh, big sale. Yeah. Get it today. And, and and I got caught up. I was like, well, let me see what's on sale. And I looked, started looking at something I really didn't need, okay. didn't want. But I heard somebody I knew had one. They were like, oh, this is a great product. And I'm looking. And then I read the reviews. And, you know, some people like, next best thing to slice bread. Okay. And some people were like, it was horrible. Don't okay. get it. And I, I said, I don't need this. Okay. Very good. You talk to yourself. Yeah, Tyrone. Yeah, is it uh, is it just me or? Oh, here it come. It, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, it's the popcorn machines getting bigger in the in the movies now. Yes, sir. When you walk in there, that's the first thing you see yes, is this great yeah. big popcorn yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not you. They, they getting bigger. But make make sure you go on Tuesday. Well, you can't go on Tuesday because you're with the men group. Where the ladies they can go, but on Tuesday at, at Bowtie Theater, it's, it's six dollars for the big container. Yeah, you got, got to get the $6 big container, okay? Then your ticket's half price. It's $6 for two people, right? All right, so after men's class over, you can go, okay? All right, anybody else? Porter? Oh, I think me and Corey actually went to a, the car show, and anytime you go to, like, any type of trade show, they always have good-looking women working the booths. Mm-hmm. So you see all these older men that... <laughs> Just barely laughing at it. So they, laughing. so they like the attention. <laughs> uh-huh. you know, it boosts their ego. Like the, the girls dote on them and stuff, and okay. they sit in a car that you know that they can't afford okay. or that they don't need, okay. but they feel good. Uh-huh. It's like an ego boost because okay. these young women are paying attention to them. Okay. All right. So they they, they thinking about emotion. <laughs> Dude can't even get out the car. He in the car. He got to get some help to get out. Like, can you help me? Can you help? Me? All right. So money seen through emotion is a poverty spirit. Money seen logically. Uh oh. So does it, anybody have accountability partner that tells them, no, honey, you don't need that? All right, I see three hands. Hope, hopefully, y'all got your own rides today. All right. So, so what does that mean? A prosperity spirit sees money logically. So, what do they tell themselves about money? Katrina. Just the simple math, two and two make four. Okay. Like I just told my sister, I said, pastor's preaching about money, and then I put in all caps, I must pay attention, and of course she texted me back and said, yes, please do. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, you, you see it for what it is okay. and not for what you want it to be. Okay. I see it so for what it is. So that's how a person with a credit score like that, okay. she sees it for what it is, okay. not for what she wanted it to okay. be. Amen. That's why her credit score looked like that. Okay. All right. Oh, Y'all heard it, didn't you? 
All right, Sean? Well, y'all already know this is my, my, my accountability partner right next to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it, it was a long way to, you know, a lot of things that she had to teach me going along with the same way with her. So, you know, she would go to whatever dress store it would be at the time, and, you know, then she would call me, you think I should get this dress, blah, blah, blah. She, I never understood why she would always call me and ask me, right? But finally I did when she said, well, it's kind of expensive, but I know you're probably going to talk me out of it. But at the end of the conversation, it was like, well, I work hard, I'm going to get it anyway. Why are you calling me that? <laughs> you know? okay. But it's just like, um, even with certain things that I would want to buy, and then, you know, well, she'd talk me out of it, and you got to have somebody that if you can't talk to yourself and won't listen to yourself, Amen. try listening to the Holy Spirit or your, your partner okay. telling your you wife. that, your wife or your partner, <laughs> okay. Okay. that, you know, to talk you out of certain situations because even though you might want it bad enough, it's it's not going to be worth it in the long run. Okay. All right. Have accountability partner. What else? Talking about how you see money logically. Got one here. How do you see money logically? planning for the future so okay. like i'm going to atlanta and i was like hmm first class sounds real cute okay. but then when i saw the price for first class <laughs> i was like mm. and then i got a ticket round trip for cheaper than like any other flights any other coach flights okay. so i'm thinking about how i gotta live once i come back from atlanta Amen. i was gonna go out shopping okay. i found all my clothes already in my closet i just bought one new pair of shoes for only 25 dollars okay so I'm seeing the money logically. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anything else about that? Miss Bailey, to get an 800 and something credit score, how, how did you see money logically? Hold, hold on, Mike coming your way. And quiet minds want to know. Don't y'all want to know? My income is not very high, okay. and so I try not to live beyond my means. So okay. I watch where every dollar go. Okay. I have to. Okay. And in the meantime, God blesses me, so I'm still able to bless other people, even okay. along with that. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Yeah, so um, I would think um, the reason my score is so high is because I'm wise. Oh! <laughs> she told us this. She slid that thing into that. Because I'm wise. <laughs> oh! Oh. Mr. Ashley? Um, I was Ashley, fix say, that thing too. Well. Uh, well, seeing it you know, logically, I mean, I love Apple products as okay. well. I mean, I'm just in love with them. But I have a phone that works, okay. and okay. there's nothing wrong with it. And the iPhone 7 is coming out. It's gorgeous, okay. but it doesn't do anything more than what my iPhone whatever does. Okay. You know, I'm not going to say what level I have. Right. Okay. Okay. But I'm just going to say <laughs> I want the 7, okay. but it's, I mean, it's cute. <laughs> But it doesn't do anything more. I mean, I'm not going to be able to talk better or hear okay. better. Okay. So right. logically, okay. Right. it makes no okay. sense to take the few hundred dollars and go buy it when okay. I can put that into, you know, a house or something. Okay. All right. So is she thinking logically or emotionally? The poverty spirit set low expectations. Just set it as low as you can go. As long as I show up, that should be good enough, right? So what's some low expectations? Talking about finances. Everything good? I got two. Got one here. Set low expectations, poverty spirit. Get it now, pay for it later. Get it now, pay for it later. Okay. Something might be six hundred dollars, but then you know, oh, I only got a monthly low balance of thirteen dollars a month or something like that. But, okay, you know you're gonna pay for that and with that interest. It's not gonna be worth it. Okay, get it now, pay for it later. Wanting to stay at the same entry level job for years just because you're comfortable. Ooh, okay. Ah, right, you read my th that's in there somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Um, kind of off with Jasmine, your um your hourly rate, how much you get paid. Like, I'm leaving God for a new job, but I'm leaving for at least 19 an hour. Okay. This new job I'm about to have. Okay. And I could have easily, you know what I mean, 10 or 11. Like, I had one of my brothers told me, so you're just going to skip college altogether just to get paid $19 an hour. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. But I was like, my expectation is from the Lord, you know what I mean? And if okay. I believe it, okay. it will be done. Okay. All right. What else? Yes, ma'am. 
I think a part of setting low expectations is believing that only your income is how you're going to get your needs met. Okay. So if you got $25 after your bills are paid, then I guess we got to find a way to eat with $25. So if it's oodles and noodles every night, then that's what we're going to have to do. As opposed to saying, all right, Lord, this is what's left over, and I need you to do something or create a situation that brings in more money so I can eat healthy. Okay. Okay. So so let me give you, uh, y'all write this down. Opportunity is work. So j- just like what Marcia said, when you ask God to open up an opportunity for you, then it's going to be disguised as work. You're going to have to do something. You know, oh, oh, Lord, you just didn't give it to me? Yeah, I gave you work. I gave you health. I gave you the, abil- I gave you the ability to think. So you got to seize the opportunity when it manifests itself. Oh, check out prosperity mentality. They lack challenges. What did we say the difference between a challenge and a struggle was? A mindset. When you say struggle, how does that feel? Does that feel kind of heavy? When you say challenge, what, what does that feel like? Yeah, exciting. I'm up for it. Does that a hand wheel? We got one hand here. So a prosperity mindset looks at opportunities as challenges. It's like, okay, so I don't know how to do this, so how can I learn how to do this? Yeah, I think that um, word choice is so important because when you say something like, well, this is a problem or, or this is a struggle, that's a really a negative word. Okay. And sometimes you, if the more you use it, the more you start to believe it, whereas you, if you say it's a challenge, it's something that you can shoot for that's going upward. Okay, all right. Appreciate your honesty. Got one here. And, and, and I will tell you that you have to condition yourself to look at it that way. You have to condition. It's not automatic that you will start to see things as a challenge. It's automatic that you'll see it as a struggle. It's automatic that, and I'm just going to be honest with you, you'll see that God has forsaken me. Whenever you go through something, if you don't train yourself, you're going to see it as, well, what did I do wrong? Is God mad at me? He abandoned me. Y'all throw some other stuff. What, what, what's some other stuff we say? y'all heard other people say about God when they go through something? He don't love me? Okay. He's disappointed? What else? Huh? I squandered all the blessings. Okay. Say it one more time. I squandered. Oh, I squandered my blessings. Okay. What else? He's punishing me. I thought he would be here for me. I've never been good enough. What else? You got a mic coming that way? You good. You good. Maybe it was just never meant to be. Oh, it was never meant to be. You know what I found is if I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, if you choose life, I, I've seen that there's a lot less problems when you choose life. Have y'all seen that? That I, I get in a lot less trouble if I choose life instead of death. That's the difference between the now and the future. Most of the time when you get in trouble, you're choosing now. But I've seen that if you choose life, that's future tense. So, so, so Cole, I'm going to go ahead and let you talk. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I uh, like the point you made where you, you said a hey, opportunity is there, but you got to just, just take it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like you, you can have overtime. You can do those things because, like you said, it is your job. It's just – if you would choose to do so. Okay. Just like in the Bible where Jesus had sent that man the boat, and he said, nah, I'm going to wait. Okay. He said, nah, I'm going to wait. Then Jesus said, I sent you the boat four other times. Why didn't you get on the boat? Okay. So he sent you the opportunity, so just take the opportunity. Just take the opportunity. All right. I got Miss Lisa, and I got one in the back, Porter and Sean. Um, likes a challenge. The reason I like the challenge is because I was – Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh, okay. I was tired of my situation. I had enough money to do what I uh, needed to do, but okay. I was lazy. Okay. And didn't send the bill off. It okay. would be on the cabinet okay. everywhere. I got late payments. I didn't care. Okay. And um, it was the beginning of a new year, and you uh, told us to write down our um, vision or goal for that new year, a physical, a financial, okay. and a... Um, Spiritual. Was a spiritual. Uh-huh. 
And so mine was uh, for financial was to get out of debt. Okay. And I had heard about Dave Ramsey, and I was um, excited about it. I was looking for some place to do it. And you said, hold up, Lisa. We're going to do it as a group together. Oh. So I had gotten, you know, excited okay. about it. And so um, that helped out a lot. So the challenge was I was tired of where I was. Okay. Okay. And um, I, I really needed that guidance to um, get out of the debt. Okay. And so I, too, have a credit score of 850. Come on. Come, come on. I, I, I like that. That was smooth. Click, click. <laughs> the, top girl, you hear she say, I, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not just I, but I, too. <laughs> Lisa, you tough. You tough. I got a fish on now. Lisa, tough. She said, I, Yes, sir. That, that was smooth, wasn't it? I mean, I was like. It was so smooth when it hit. It was so smooth when it hit. Porter? Was it Porter? And then, yeah. I like I liked how you have the poverty mentality and prosperity mentality because it's, if you have that mentality of setting low expectations, obviously it's not just going to affect your finances. Oh, come on now. So if you have a low expectation, like we're already saying in your job, okay, that's going to affect your finances. But if I have a low expectation, like in my relationships, the people that I interact with, then that's going to manifest itself in my life. Okay. If I have a low expectation of myself, then all those things roll into one. Ooh. Whereas if you view it as a challenge, it's going to affect your life in more ways than just your bank account or okay. your credit score. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's all the way across the board. Yeah. Is it Sean? Oh, when... Just like you, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> it bites everywhere. <laughs> just like when uh, you were saying, um, how you can't just sit around and be waiting for God to bless you when you're not doing what you're supposed to do in order to be blessed. Okay. So sometimes you just can't sit there and wait for it. Okay. And kind of like to piggyback off of what Porter was just saying, where um, I remember one time you said uh, you can only attract your best self Mm -hmm. for your significant other. So if you're at a low point and you're looking for the best thing (laughs) out there, you're you're not going to find it like that. So, so, so so don't just blame your mate. Okay. I'm going to keep on going. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I was attracted them. I was telling this curly when um, we were out there, you, you do set your expectations and like I've been sick and I had a lady at work telling me, you know, You've been cranky, and I know you've been cranky because you haven't been to church. Oh. Uh, you going to church this Sunday? And I say, yeah. She said, yeah, you you hurry up and go. <laughs> and I told her, and I told and I said, yeah, and I know. I said, because I haven't been to the house of the Lord, and y'all getting on my nerves. <laughs> so a combination of the two, it's going to make me cranky. Okay. So if I can get away from y'all for a couple of days, and I can go in the house of the Lord and see my shepherd and all my fellow sheep, I'm going to come in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to work tomorrow like this. Hey! <laughs> Thanks be unto the Lord. I saw my shepherd and my sheep. How y'all doing? <laughs> See what I'm saying? So when I go to work tomorrow, I'm be like this. How y'all doing? I saw I saw my shepherd, his wife, and all the sheep. Y'all look real good today too. So I'm gonna be all right tomorrow. You know, you get that. You know, I okay. need that. And I, I this is like my little breakfast. Okay, amen. Every week. Okay. I need that. Okay. And I, I, I've okay. come okay. to, you know, you take, got to have that. Take the bite. Take the bite. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, sis. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, that's it. Amen. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got to stop on that. I can't go no fuck. <laughs> I can't go no fuck. All right. T- turn to your neighbor. Say, name. Are you born again? Are you spirit filled? Do you have a church home? Everybody say yes. This concludes today's message on Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you, with Pastor Paul Morgan. If you are ever in the Richmond, Virginia area, visit Pastor Paul for Sunday services at 11 a.m. at Chosen Generation Ministries, located at 5511 West Marshall Street, Richmond, Virginia, 23230. The telephone number is 866-333-9505. Or visit the website, www.paulmorgan.org.
Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry. We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry. So all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website www.whenchristianspeak.com and click on our donation page. Oh, give thanks unto the Listen to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio on Blog Talk Radio, iHeartRadio, Speaker.com. All of our broadcasts are available as podcasts through SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, Blueberry.com, Zoom.com, Stitcher.com, Lisbon.com, and BlogTalkRadio.com. To listen to our broadcast by phone, dial 646-478-0660. Again, that number is 646-478-0660. Go visit and like our Facebook page, When Christians Speak Talk Radio. Also be sure to check out Christians Against Suicide and Depression. It's a page dedicated to sharing God's love, encouragement, and hope. There are prayer warriors standing by to receive prayer requests, doing intercession for those under attack by the lie and deception of the devil. We know that the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But praise God, Jesus came to set the captives free. You're listening to When Christians Speak Talk Radio, a platform for Christians to talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ, missions, and other topics related to Christian living and services to the community. The views, opinions, and positions expressed by hosts and or guest speakers on any given broadcast does not necessarily reflect or represent the views, opinion, and or official position of When Christians Speak Talk Radio.